Okay guys, this video is going to walk through the process of getting our finalised design. So at the moment I've done half my side and being able to then go through and develop up my drawing for the laser cutting. So I've got all my pieces ready to go. What I'd like to do next is I'm going to create my drawing. So I'm going to go down to the plus in the bottom corner here and I'm going to go create drawing. Now it doesn't matter which one we used, I'm just going to use the my one that I've created for the GGS, but it doesn't matter because I'm literally in this case going to be deleting everything off it so that we can go through and add what we need. So before I go anywhere, I'm going to delete all of that. And then I'm going to make sure that my sheet, so I double click up here and make sure that the scale is one to one. We want it to be the right size so the same size as we said it was going to be. So now I can insert my new view. So I'm going to grab the base. I've got that set up at the front. If you had it on top, we can always reorganize that. I'm going to hit escape off that. Now notice the first thing I've got the problem here is I'm going to go here and I'm actually going to uh, click off there and try again. So I want to be able to hide those auto marks. So those center marks now I've disappeared and that's what I want to be able to see. I need to now add in my next components. Now I'm going to grab that next. It will go up here and I'm going to need to do the same thing, escape and then show or hide those center marks. So now that's, I could go in and add each of those but I'm just going to select on him, control C, control V. It's going to give me another one and then to make my life easier again I'm going to select both of those uncheck him control C control V copy and paste and now I've got my four for that side if I want to do four on the other side as well I can add them in as well but I've got my four four pieces there that's ready to go that's looking pretty good at this point um, the bit that I need to adjust here is this is actually going to be a engraving for my design. So what I'm going to do there is I need to right click back on this guy and I'm going to go adjust line style. Now this allows me to select the lines that I want so I can do that by just clicking or unclicking the ones or as you saw click and drag. Choose that to be the colour. I'm going to go tick on that and now that's done that. Now for those that have got a little bit more of a complex design, now I want these to be exactly lined up where I had them in my drawing. So I can actually do a really fast score to be able to help line those up. So, But to be able to do that I'm going to bring that in as a different setup. So I'm going to go insert and instead of choosing parts, individual parts, come across to the part studio. So then I can actually pick the whole thing and that will come across over here. And notice now all of those pieces are in place. If I had it over on the angle, you can see those that raised pieces and the engraves all there. But for the laser, I just want this piece here. Now I could do the same thing as I did for the last one. I'm going to go in and I'm going to adjust the line style. So I'm going to do that for the engrave and select those through. Sometimes the little pieces can be a little bit finicky. So they're now all selected. They're going to go to that blue for engrave. Tick that off and I'm going to do that once more for the circles. So I'm going to go back onto adjust line style, select those four circles and I'm going to make them a different colour. So we can get the laser cutter to go through really fast and make them just a score instead of cutting through and not an actual engrave as well. So they're my two options for being able to get that. Obviously I'll need to do those pieces as well. But for those that have some really tricky locations for those uh, those pieces to go, that's a really nice way to be able to orientate
those pieces. So the last thing I want to do is I'm going to right click, rename that. So this is Mr. Faint's DXF. That's really good. And happy days. Now I've got my drawing ready to go, except for one little thing. So if I go back to my part studio, you will notice that if I go back in here, I've got this set up as 95. Now, if we're at the point of our uh, design, we've actually got our box finished as well. And we need a bit more size than just that. So there's a couple of ways that we could go about it, but the neatest and the easiest way to go about this is actually uh, in this sketch. So where you drew that size, we're gonna go in and create another rectangle. Or in this case, the rectangle is gonna be a square. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to make it the size that I need my piece to be and then make both of those equal. So now I've got a 107 mil square around the outside as we just watch I, what I need. I'm going to tick out of that. Now nothing's changed so far, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show that and I'm going to extrude another piece on the outside. So make sure it's on add. And it's going to go through and merge onto that. So now that goes through. Uh, we probably want to change the height of that so that it's actually the same, same thing. So we've just got three millimeters. And we go tick, try that again. And now that looks better. So that's now the size that I needed to be able to fit perfectly in my box. I'm going to come over to my DXF and refresh this. We're gonna see some uh, things go, I'm not happy with this, but that should be okay. Well, it actually went through happily. So sometimes we might have to actually adjust them through here and, and review, but because we did it nice, nicely over here, added the extra piece, none of our references that we, we did through here messed up. We've just added the, our 107. over here so that we are doing that last step. So now I've got my DXF ready to go. I'm going to right click on that, hit export and let it think for a second. Now I've got a rule that adds my name to the end of everything, but you can see I've got my name already. Make sure you've selected DXF as the export and we're going to export that now. So then that will go through and you can then share that with me to be able to get onto, there it's going, and it's been done completely. So that's looking good. So that's what we wanna be able to do to make this work. Good luck for yours.